Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Join us as we explore the rugged terrain of Anza Borrego Desert State Park. We'll be taking some of the off camber obstacles and Diablo drop off and some tight sections in Sandstone Canyon. So buckle up and let's get started. We start our journey at the Velocito Creek Road by S2 Great Southern Overland Stage Route. If you ever come out here and check it out, make sure you have the right gears and supplies because this place is pretty vast and remote. Some areas do not have cell phone reception, so I highly recommend downloading offline maps. Hello, I think we've been here with Nepo before. Yeah, yeah. Place underneath, like, have you been to the yeah, I'm not have you been to the cave? Right yeah, yeah. We've been we just linked up with some of our friends that camped by the Arroyo Tapiado mud caves the night before. Say hi. You're gonna be on camera. Quick. Can you say hi? <laughs> that's what I like. That's what I'm <laughs> this mud caves are natural formation found in Anza Borrego Desert State Park. They are formed by erosions of mudstone, a sedimentary rock composed of clay and silt. This mud caves can be dangerous, so enter at your own risk. Make sure you have your light, water source, and let's go explore. Parkour! Parkour. <laughs> Careful, guys. We are making our way to Diablo drop-off. But before we get there, we have to drive through a washboard dirt road and go over some obstacles. We are now at Diablo drop-off. This is a popular trail for off-road enthusiasts. The trail is rated as moderate to difficult and is suitable for experienced off-roaders. However, if you have a competent spotter, you will do just fine. This trail is open to all types of vehicles. I've seen a lot of side-by-sides and of course, a 4x4s and overlanding crowd. The trail is open all year round, but it's best to avoid the summer months due to extreme heat. The trail is located in a remote area and there is no cell phone service. It is important to be prepared with a map and plenty of water. Highly recommended to not travel alone. Straight! There you go, good. Nice. Come on. A little bit here. All right. Driver a little bit. Oh. Oh. Straight, just straight, just straight. This way. Nice. Here. All right. Start cutting. Nice. Just skip that line. Here you go. Nice. Come on. Keep that line. Just straight. Nice. Now you can start cutting, bro. You're good. Make sure you're good at that side of the back. Go 
Perfect. Hold that line. Straight. Straight. Keep going. All right, cut. Make sure you get in the back, driver's side. These guys are not part of our group, but they ask if we can help spot. And of course, we are more than happy to help. You're good. Alright, keep going. Now you can start cutting, driver. Nice. Easy day. Perfect. A little bit. Good. Right there. Nice. Doing great, man. Keep going. A little bit, a little bit more, nice, all right, you're good, good one, start cutting driver, good one, just watch the back side here. This is Ben going up the obstacle on his Nissan Xterra Pro 4X with 33 inch tires and a rear locker. make our way down towards Fish Creek Wash where the trail gets a little bit tight and you will encounter some of the moderate rocky terrain. This section of the trail is also one way. It's because in the next half a mile or so there's really no space to pull over to let the other vehicle pass. We are now in the Fish Creek Wash. We take in the breathtaking views in the desert. I wish we could have camped here for the night. If you haven't yet, I highly recommend doing so in a Fish Creek area. Plenty of dispersed camping with spectacular view. Make sure you have all the supplies you need. Enjoy cooking dinner over campfire and of course, the stars above. But please, make sure to clean after yourself and take all your trash with you so we can continue to enjoy this place. Alright guys, we are now here at the Sandstone Canyon. The last time we were here, I think it's back in 2020. And we had a couple of wide vehicles when we were here last time. I think we had the, um, we had the Silverado, we had the Ram, which I think the 1500 was wider than the Silverado. And we managed to fit it during that time. So we should be fine right now, as long as nothing have changed since there's uh, been a lot of uh, rain lately. Hopefully there's no like mudslides or anything. Oh, it's two chips again. Just love following these guys around. <laughs> That's awesome. The Sandstone Canyon is a stunningly beautiful canyon with towering sandstone walls. This trail is popular within the off-roading and overlanding community, so it might get busy during the weekend. There are a few tight obstacles where it needs your full attention. I highly recommend having a spotter to navigate you on those spots. They will have way better visibility looking from the outside than you in the inside of the vehicle. Sandstone Canyon is a great place to explore and experience the beauty of the desert.
Nice. Just hold that steering wheel, you're good. Easy. <laughs> You're good. Driver's gonna climb. Nice. Slow. Easy day. Okay. Yep. Easy. This is the second tight spot. Keep that line. Go straight. Nice. Slowly. It's good. A little bit. Oh, there you go. That's it. Alright guys, so we just got done with Sandstone Canyon. It wasn't really a very long trail. It's probably like a mile from Fish Creek and the trail is closed out. Um, it's not too bad. I don't remember it being that short back then though, but I guess it is. Um, there's only like two spots where it's a little bit tight. It wasn't too bad though. Land Cruiser fits pretty well. And the rest of Tacoma's and uh, Ben's uh, Xterra. Fit with, uh, fit with no issues. We are now making our way back to the entrance of Fish Creek Wash by the Split Mountain Road close to California Highway 78. We had an amazing time exploring the rugged terrain of the desert and we hope that you guys enjoyed it too. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to see more of our future adventures.